Hi, it's Lalita Devi and this video is about Gemini. If you are a Gemini and you want to know all the secrets of this sign ruled by Mercury, this is the right place. So I am an Astroveda astrologer. Uh, as I said, my name is Lalita Devi. I'm also a Pillai Centra teacher. And there are many ways of uh, interpreting the, the um, 12 astrological signs. You have already seen um, Aries, you have seen Taurus, and now it's the turn of the third astrological sign, and the name is Mituna in um, Sanskrit, or as we mostly know it in the West, Gemini. So various types of Geminis, um, usually they're intellectuals, yes, they're analytical, they love variety, they love to travel, they're world travelers. They also have uh, a knack for innovation, they like to change a lot, everything around. So suppose they're studying something that like tomorrow they may look into something else and then change again and then again and again. This makes them very intelligent and knowledgeable. Of course sometimes this can also bring some restlessness but then again not all Gemini types are the same so let's see why so secret number one look at the constellations right so there are three constellations um, in Gemini and um, the planets will be in Gemini in one of these three or sometimes on the cusp but in general they are in one of these three energies so the constellation um, the first is Mrigashira Mrigashira is ruled by Mars so the energy is very vivacious gentle though strangely enough because Mars is a little more active and uh, sometimes aggressive and um, Mrigashira is very gentle, it's like imagine a deer and in fact it's symbolized by the deer. It's shy and yet curious and a deer will come near you and will take the food sometimes if you're lucky. Some people know, I know some people who are very good with that, they can talk to deer, um, several animals coming to them and they feed them so that's wonderful. But in general Mrigashira is the a world traveler among the Gemini types. Um, there's more to that, but well, let's go into the next nakshatra or constellation, and it's Ardra. Now, Ardra is ruled by Rahu. Rahu is this uh, invisible energy, yet very real, that causes eclipses, and uh, it's also an energy of uh, um, driven to action, desire to fulfill something and uh, so Rao wants to achieve something in this life and uh, Ardra sometimes struggles with this energy because it's also, it also brings change suddenly and sometimes Ardras are a little confused They're like oh my god what just happened to me and uh, actually it's a great energy uh, I know amazing people who uh, have that birth star and they also um, are able to bounce back so change will come suddenly and they can then go on with their lives and actually benefit so never think that uh, a nakshatra is not good for you the next nakshatra is my favorite it's uh, called Punarvasu and uh, it's ruled by Jupiter now Jupiter of course is the planet of higher thinking, wisdom and um, according to the Siddhas and Rishis it's the planet of highest intelligence. So when you combine Mercury and uh, Jupiter you get somebody very interested in the um, higher subject like philosophy or literally religion and uh, God and all these uh, subjects and also higher intelligence. Um, higher knowledge of the um, scriptures, philosophy, all those things. So when you combine, okay, in theory, Jupiter doesn't like Mercury. Jupiter sees Mercury as an enemy. Uh, in fact, for Mituna, Gemini, the Badaga pl uh, planet, so the planet of difficulties, etc., is Jupiter. And when you combine um, these two energies though, you get a lot of positive um, things such as writing or public speaking and then 
um, mass communication, all these amazing things that we need today, right? So these are the um, basics of Gemini. There's more, of course, every sign has amazing opportunities, amazing gifts to offer to the world. So I hope this is useful to you um, and uh, you can connect with the planets in Gemini and experience miracles. And remember, you can fix anything. And in fact, Astroved offers a lot of um, remedies and ceremonies to change things around, to change your life and improve it and even experience life-changing miracles, which is the whole point of Dr. Pillai's plan to bring Vedic astrology into the world to help. Thank you so much for watching and uh, stay tuned for the next sign which is called Cancer and uh, it's ruled by the moon and that will be the next zodiac uh, sign. Thank you.